Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm wearing the shade uh, Rosy Plum from Lakme's and 9 to 5. This has been one of my most favorite shades for quite some time now. Uh, especially during the colder seasons I love wearing it. On camera it is picking up a little pinks for some reason but uh, in real it's a very nice muted burgundy shade and I absolutely love it. Uh, I don't know why it's picking pink but uh, yeah. Uh, if you are not into those really dark maroon, uh, vampy, um, you know, burgundy shades, you can definitely go for this. This is much more muted tone of uh, that and uh, you will absolutely love it. It's from Lakme's uh, 9 to 5 uh, Weightless Matte Mousse um, Lip and Cheek Collection and I love their formula too. I I keep going back to these lipsticks. So in today's video, I am going to share some products, some baby products that I use for Azika. Now, of course, I bought these products after doing a lot of research. Uh, there were some trial and errors, uh, but these are products I absolutely love and trust. And I go back to these products all the time. I thought it would really help mothers who um, are um, either pregnant or, you know, if you are looking for some products that work really well for your baby then uh, I have a list of them here so let's get started let's start with shampoo this was recommended to me by Azika's pediatrician and I stuck with it because it worked really well it's really mild uh, now I use almond oil for Azika's hair almond oil doesn't suit her body I use uh, pure virgin uh, coconut oil for her body uh, it washes the almond oil also pretty well without uh, making her hair extremely harsh and her hair is extremely soft and smooth after this so this is what I use for her hair uh, we started using this from when she was a little uh, you know newborn uh, and I haven't changed it yet maybe once she crosses one year or once we shave her hair off and uh, we don't know what kind of um, texture uh, is going to grow back after that I'm going to decide what to change but as of now I am using Spoo and it works really well I also love the smell of this product now the second product I was using another product which was recommended by her pediatrician called Teddy Bar. I think that's a very popular uh, soap that is recommended for babies. But it did not work for Azika. As she started growing, um, I noticed that her leg was very dry. I have extremely dry skin and I think that is passed on to Azika as well. So I started noticing that every time I touched her leg, especially from her knee till her toe, it would be extremely, extremely dry, like almost snake skin kind of a texture and i was constantly applying lotion over and over again but then i realized that it was time for me to change her um, uh, soap and i moved to this uh, mama earth's coco soft bathing bar for babies with coconut co coconut oil and turmeric mild and gentle formula um you get two in this and after i moved to this azika has not had that problem and uh, i'm really glad because uh, I was really worried that her skin might be getting itchy. I'm so sorry, Azika is talking in the background. Uh, might get itchy, but once I use this, I use her normal body lotion once and that's it. Her skin is has not gone back to that texture uh, again and I'm sure that this um, is the reason why. Now, this also washes off, um, you know, uh, baby oil really well. Uh, we like to use a lot of coconut oil while massaging Azika, so sometimes... It can get a little difficult to wash it off. I was worried that because this is so gentle and uh, hydrating and nourishing, this might not wash it off, but this does wash uh, any kind of oil. Uh, I've uh, not tried this with almond oil because we stopped using almond oil on Azika. She gets a uh, weird uh, baby acne and rashes. So this is uh, one soap that I don't think I'm going to stop using for a while because it has worked really, really well for Azika. Next, moving on to the body lotion. Um, I wanted body lotions that uh, will hydrate her skin but not feel heavy or slippery or sticky on her skin. And um, I've gone through these like so much. I've all already finished this and I have a new one also. This is the Cetaphil Baby with Organic uh, Calendula uh, for baby's delicate skin. I use this all over her body. Now, this looks like a small tube but it lasts pretty uh long because it's quite uh hydrating and it's um its consistency is very very light 
and it almost instantly gets absorbed into the skin and you do not feel it on the skin especially now that she started crawling i don't want her to um you know uh, her skin to feel slippery i don't want her to slip so i use this and it gets absorbed really well and i absolutely love this this is one product that i also used to use on my skin after uh, delivery when my skin was extremely extremely dry this really helped with that i use this all over her body uh, leaving her face because I have something else for her face but this also is one product that I absolutely love and I don't think I'm going to go back to it I also have uh, pumped this in small uh, pump bottles and I've kept it in the um, diaper bag for me to use it whenever we are outside sometimes when we leave in a hurry I just use whatever I have in my diaper bag and I absolutely love this you can use this for face as well but I like using something else for her face now coming to her face Azika had the worst baby acne um, ever she was really uncomfortable it was everywhere on her face and all of that um, one thing that helped her was uh, we put her in AC we also uh, made sure to keep an uh, put her AC in the room because the whole point of baby acne is uh, they don't really have sweat glands so if uh, the environment is uh, humid and hot um, they get these uh, small uh, rashes it can be uh, uncomfortable for some it can itch and burn uh, so i was really really worried about that and this also was recommended by her doctor that worked really well and i still use this for her face which is the cetaphil gentle skin cleanser uh, dry to normal sensitive skin this is really good for any kind of fungal infection um, any kind of skin irritation and rashes and it worked really well i bought this when azika was I think about one and a half month old and it is still um, you know um, not over I still have a lot of product this is about 850 rupees and it has lasted me really well uh, now Deepak and I also have started using this but I use this for her face the other soap which is this mama earth soap I use for her body only and I use this for her uh, for her face and it really worked when azika was born she was born um pink and then she her complexion really went um extremely tanned because she had jaundice and um, she had very mild jaundice so we would take her uh, um out by 7 30 or 3 30 in the mornings uh, in the afternoon uh, outside and she got really tanned only her hands would stay uh, her actual complexion now and everything else was dark and this really helped with that too with the tan that she had uh, it helped with that too and I absolutely love this this also I think is something that I will use until um, she's older and I hope as an adult she also uses this because it really really works well on her skin and uh, you know just freshens up her entire face uh, really well so this is one product that I'm going to continue using for uh, azika now coming to uh, baby powder of course i've read how you shouldn't be using talc and that's why i went on a hunt for talc free powders now one thing is you can use powders but make sure you're not using the powder puff and you know like just hitting them with that so that there's uh, no talc everywhere in the air because you don't want them to um, uh, breathe it in so i uh, use this the mom's uh, company's um, natural baby powder it is a uh, talc free it has uh, cornstarch organic chamomile oil and, and cal calendula oil and this is what i use i love the smell of this this naturally has the baby smell like if anyone smells this they're going to get baby fever and this is the only uh, talc that i've been using on azika from when she is a baby i do not put it in a powder puff and go like that i use it on my hand i take it somewhere away and i spread it on my palms and then i use it uh, on the cuts that she has wherever she might sweat um and this works really well i love the smell i've never gone back to any other um powder and uh, this also works really well in absorbing their sweat and any moisture that can be there uh, in you know their necklines uh, thighs and all of that and this also works really well when you want to apply a uh, powder before uh, changing their diapers now on days when i feel like we will be out for a longer time and she will be have wearing 
the same diaper maybe for about four or five hours i always apply this uh, before nappy cream um all over her bum and front and thighs and all of that and then apply this till date touch wood um by god's grace azika has not got diaper rashes and she's been in diaper for from the time she was born um not at home but now especially we have started putting her in uh, diapers a lot more because she's crawling and walking and it's difficult i don't want her to get uh, it everywhere so uh, i make sure to use this and thankfully she hasn't had any diaper rashes yet and uh, i guessing that this is the reason why um so i like using this before i think i don't use this all the time but whenever i feel like we are going out or she's wearing something like sometimes when i put tights on her and all of that you know everything is really tight and packed i make sure to apply this this acts like a barrier between her skin and the diaper so till now no diaper rashes and i'm thankful to this product for it next for her face i uh started using this maybe 3 months back and i absolutely absolutely love this i don't think i'm ever going to go back this is the sebameds protective facial cream uh for delicate facial skin i love this product this product has worked so well for azika uh like i told you she gets those baby acne very easily rashes and all of that like one day her skin is fine the next day you you'd see spots on her skin and all of that um this has worked really well for her uh facial skin and i love this product it has some amazing ingredients and it is a little on the pricier side it is pricey but you know their face is small this will last you maybe 2 3 months um and again i love this product and i will not go back to any other product if i would have known this product earlier i would have started using this earlier on azika but uh, it comes like this really cute ole packaging um Deepak calls this the Ole cream. He says it says it's really fancy, but I love this product and it has helped with her skin. Like I said she has a dry skin and it has helped with her skin. Sometimes Azika also when her skin gets dry gets these red patches just around this area. This has helped with that also. It has kept her skin even and really soft and supple and I absolutely love this product. Now the last product in this list is baby wipes. I was very very particular about wanting baby wipes that does not have fragrance. Um I do use one uh one of the baby wipes that does have fragrance. I I'll just uh, find that. Uh but usually I use this uh, Mother Spurs 99% pure water baby wipe it does not have any fragrance uh it's really good like i said i've been using this also uh on azika from the beginning and it prevents diaper rash now by mistake uh deepak ordered the 98% one and uh, he's ordered a lot about like uh 8 to 9 uh, packs so i i'm just going to go and go ahead and use this but i prefer the 99% one now this does not have fragrance either but i don't know like i've been using the 99% from a very long time so i want to stick to that but these wipes are really good i like to keep this in the bedroom in the uh, car in my diaper bag wherever i uh, think that i will change her diapers i keep these in handy and it has really worked now whenever we are outside like for example when we are at home we use this and then we wash her up by the end of the day but if we are outside i want something with mild fragrance in that case i use the uh, mimi wet wipes just a second i'll bring that so these are the mimi wipes now this does have fragrance it is also um you know very mild and very um soft the tissue is really soft but i use this only when we are out like for example when we went out for this one day trip uh somewhere and i knew that we will not have the facility to wash her up so in that case i need something with mild fragrance that is when i use this i don't use this uh, a lot we buy maybe two or three packs and it lasts us pretty long but on a regular basis we use the 99 percent 99 or 98 percent uh pure water wipes and these have worked really well um like i said i was very particular about something without fragrance and this also i think is one of the reasons she hasn't gotten any diaper rashes yet 
because I'm very very careful about the products I use on Azika. I'm just hoping um, this is one wish that I had was after we shave off her hair I hope that when her hair regrows it is curly because uh, I always uh, prayed that I should have a daughter with curly hair. I, I want to do everything um, uh, you know that you can do for little girls with curly hair like hairstyles and curly girl method and all of that. So I don't know right now she has a really fine straight soft and you know really smooth hair um but um i i'm hoping that she gets curly hair but these are the products that i use on azika um i will link them in the description box uh, i usually order them online um, because online you get a lot of offers and all of that than buying it in the stores um so yeah these are the products i really trust for my daughter and has worked really well um, on Azika's skin she has very very like sensitive dry skin so I have to be extremely careful about the products I use on her and uh, these products have worked really well especially uh, the soap I think has really like changed the game because now she does not have that snake skin texture on her uh, leg and I'm not constantly applying lotion on her legs every two hours so uh, yeah I will leave all the links to this in the description box. You guys can check it out. And I will meet you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.